Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create NFTs or non-fungible tokens from scratch without any coding or programming experience. To do that, we're going to be using a platform called Rarible, which is a distributed network built on Ethereum. Now, an NFT is a unique digital asset, such as an art piece or a digital collectible. By tokenizing your work, you as an artist can ensure that the piece is unique and that you are the creator of the artwork. The actual ownership of the NFT is managed by the Ethereum blockchain. Now, with the upcoming London hard fork and shift to Ethereum 2.0, gas fees for transactions on the Ethereum network will be dropping dramatically. It should also be noted that within the past few months, there has been a 90% drop in NFT sales. So when you combine the low gas fees to create NFTs, as well as a temporary subdued NFT market, if you are an artist, now might be the ideal time to turn some of your work into non-fungible tokens. Now that the NFT bubble has popped and the hype is dying down, many legit art projects and collectibles are being launched as non-fungible tokens. Stick around and I'll show you how you can make a profit creating and selling your NFT art. So guys, before I go on, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel. I love to cover the latest tech trends and review innovative tech products. Also, be sure to smash the like button as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. It's also important to remember that trading cryptocurrencies and NFTs comes with risks, and even if you use a legit platform like Rarible, you might end up losing your money. So with no coding experience needed, let's create some NFTs from our art using Rarible. First, we'll go to rarible.com. As you can see, the Rarible website has a wide variety of NFT art on display. You can see the best-selling artwork, which NFTs are popular, new releases, different art collections, etc. Now remember guys, non-fungible tokens in a way are like digital certificates of authenticity. They can be created and backed by real-world assets and collectibles. NFTs allow for a more secure ownership of assets, which was not previously possible. So the first thing that we're going to do is press connect wallet button at the top right of the screen. You'll see that there are a few different wallets that you can connect to Rarible. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using the Coinbase wallet. If you don't have any of the supported wallets from this list, I would recommend that you create a Coinbase wallet. However, to create a Coinbase wallet, you will first need to create a Coinbase account. And if you don't have a Coinbase account, I'll leave a link in the description which you can use to create an account. Once you've created your Coinbase account, download the Coinbase Wallet app and you can buy Ether directly from your Coinbase Wallet. Now, there is a fee to buy Ether from Coinbase. So if you live in Canada like myself and you don't like paying high fees to buy and withdraw your crypto, I highly recommend using the Newton Exchange for free cryptocurrency trading. The exchange also provides free deposits and withdrawals, making it a great option for buying Ethereum and sending it to your Coinbase wallet. So if you don't want to pay the fees to buy Ethereum on Coinbase, what you can do is buy Ether tokens on Newton and without any fees, send your tokens to Coinbase wallet for free. This is a little hack which you can use to save some money since Coinbase fees are pretty high compared to other exchanges. I'll leave a link in the description to the Newton exchange website. If you sign up using my referral code, we'll both earn $25 once you trade $100 worth of crypto. So definitely check that out. If you're living in Canada and looking for an exchange to buy crypto, I would highly recommend Newton. The exchange is FinTrack regulated and you can use it on your iOS and Android smartphones as well as on your computer. So now that you have the Coinbase wallet, follow the steps on the Rarible website to connect your Coinbase wallet to your account. Once your wallet is connected, you should see something like this at the top of your screen. Basically, Rarible has created an account that is connected to my wallet only. So guys, before I go on, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to smash the like button as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So now that our wallet is connected, we can buy and sell NFTs on Rarible. Congratulations! However, we came here specifically to create NFTs and to do that, we'll go to the top right of the screen and press create. 
So now you'll have the option to create either a single or multiple collectibles. Single collectible means that there will only be one NFT created for a specific piece of art. I'm going to be selecting multiple since we want to create a limited number of NFTs for a specific piece of art. Click on start from scratch. Now we'll be uploading our image that we want to turn into an NFT. So guys, your image can either be a JPEG, PNG, or a GIF file. And it's recommended that you use files that are under 10 megabytes. If your image is not in one of these formats, you can go to image.online-convert.com and convert your image to any file type that you like. If your image is larger than 10 megabytes, go to tinypng.com and you can compress your file size. I'll leave a link in the description for the online image converter and the image compressor. Alright, so now we're going to upload our image. I'm going to be uploading an art piece for a group that I'm working with called King Media. King Media is launching a collection of NFTs which can be purchased on Rarible. Their first NFT is this really cool 3D pop-out lion image and they'll be launching a bunch of other collectibles. What makes King Media's NFTs even more special is that in the future, they're planning on backing their non-fungible tokens for real-life memorabilia. So for example, if you buy their NFTs in the future, you'll be able to redeem a t-shirt or other collectibles with the same image as the NFT. You can go to their website at k1ngmedia.com to get more information about their NFT promotions. However guys, for this specific NFT, they will not be offering any redeemable collectibles and will be charging 0.005 ETH. Again, you can find more information on their website at k1ngmedia.com and contact them directly. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So from here, we have the option to either set a fixed price for our NFT or have an open bid where the highest offer gets to purchase our collectible. We'll be sticking to a fixed price since King Media is asking for 0.005 Ether. Now there is a 2.5% service fee per sale, so this is basically what you'll be receiving per sale. Leave this section as it is. Now moving on from here, we can select Rarible or create our own collection. Again, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Next, give your project a name. Here, I can write a description. I'll say something like, um, this is King Media's first NFT. We can also set the royalties here. I'm going to set the royalty to 20%. This basically means that when you as the creator sell your NFT to someone, and then the buyer of the NFT sells it to someone else, you as the creator will receive 20% royalty for the sale of your NFT. King Media wants a 20% royalty for this NFT, so we'll set this value to 20. Okay, so next you can set the number of copies for your NFT. You can create 10, 20, 500, 1000. It's up to you. Any amount that you like. We're going to set this value to 100. Now, if you click on advanced settings, you have the option to set properties for your non-fungible tokens. I'm just going to set up a few properties, um, collectible type, 3D card, animal, lion. So there you have it guys, I've set up a few properties for our NFT. Again, this section is optional. We can see a preview of our NFT right here, and this is basically what it'll look like. As you can see, it's a rareable collectible, and you should see your address since you're the owner. Everything looks good, so I'm just going to click create item. So now guys, this is the part where there is some financial risk. Every time you create an NFT, there will be a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. So you will have to pay gas fees to create your NFTs. You have to take that into consideration when creating non-fungible tokens. Don't go into it thinking that you're going to get rich and sell your NFTs for millions of dollars. It doesn't really work like that. The NFT market has gone through a major decline after going through a hype cycle. And NFT sales have decreased. A get-rich-quick mentality could lose you a lot of money. However, if you're an artist or a creative person who wants to get into the NFT space, this is a great time to learn how to create non-fungible tokens.
As Ethereum scales, it will become cheaper and cheaper to use the Ethereum network. But you need to understand the NFT market because you might, for example, create hundreds of NFTs and incur significant costs and your NFTs might not even sell. So right now, Rarible is asking me to confirm on my phone and I have a request in my Coinbase wallet app asking me whether I want to accept a charge of 0.0057 ETH to carry out with minting of our tokens. That's about $13 US at the time of me making this video. So now I'm going to transfer some crypto from another exchange into my Coinbase wallet. I'm actually transferring it from my Celsius network account, which allows for free crypto deposit and withdrawals. Personally, I like using the Celsius network because it works like a savings account and I'm able to earn passive income on my crypto. If you'd like to earn over 5% on your Ether tokens and up to 6.2% on your Bitcoin, give Celsius network a shot. I've been using Celsius network for over 3 months now and I leave a tiny bit of crypto in my Celsius wallets to earn passive income. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you that want to give Celsius network a try. Alright, so now that I've transferred some Ether to my Coinbase wallet, I'm going to go ahead and accept. Now our file will be uploaded and prepared for minting. Once it's minted the token, I can go into my account. And as you can see, the NFT that we created is listed under the on sale section. If we click on it, we'll be able to see our NFT with the title at the top, the price, the description, the number of tokens available, and other useful information. It shows that I'm the creator and still the owner of this NFT. Once other people purchase this NFT, their accounts will show up under the owner section. And if these new owners of our NFT sell the NFT to someone else, we will receive a 20% royalty. Again, you can find more information on their website at k1ngmedia.com and contact them directly. That's pretty much it for now guys. If you have any questions or issues, please leave me a message in the comment section. I'll include links to the Newton Exchange, Celsius Network, and the Coinbase website for those of you who are interested. Please like this video if you find it to be helpful and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.